Iran is looking to establish a production line and build a 100-seat commercial passenger plane, according to Turij Dakani Zangana, the head of the country's civil aviation organization. Sanctions prohibit the proper replacement of aircraft in Iran, which is why Iranian airlines usually operate older aircraft like the Airbus A300, Fokker 100s, MD-80s, and other Avjik favorites. To battle this shortage of new aircraft, Iran may be eyeing the development of a new 100-seat commercial passenger plane, as reported by the Tehran Times. There's a memorandum of understanding between Iran's civil aviation organization, Ministry of Defense, and the Transport and Urban Development Ministry, according to Dakani. We have planned to build 70 and 100-seat aircraft inside the country, and in this regard we signed a memorandum of understanding, MU, with the Ministry of Defense, to be able to use the country's existing military capabilities for the construction of commercial aircraft," he added. According to data provided by CH Aviation, there are 386 aircraft from several carriers in Iran at the moment. Nearly 40% of the whole Iranian fleet is grounded for several reasons. Only 140 aircraft are currently active. This summer, Iran's domestic market has 12.4 million, according to Ode Schedule's information. The MD-82 is by far the leading aircraft domestically in the country, followed by the Fokker 100. In 2018, Iran needed approximately 500 aircraft to replace its existing fleet and grow over the next 10 years. Nonetheless, the sanctions on the Iranian regime have made this almost impossible, so having an own aircraft could heavily help the local carriers. According to Dakani, the advanced aviation and transportation technology will also help in the development of the new plane, which is only at the primary studies stage. There are a lot of knowledge-based companies established in the country that have great potentials, MAPNA and another company are currently building gas turbines and we are helping them to build aircraft engines," Dakani added. Developing a passenger plane can be extremely expensive. For instance, Canada's Bombardier spent around US $6 billion developing its C-Series plane, currently the Airbus A220. In the past, Iran has had a commercial aircraft production company. We are talking about the Iran Aircraft Manufacturing Industrial Company, HISA, which was established in 1976. This company mainly developed helicopters in the past, although it produced the Iran 140 aircraft based on the original Antonov 140. Back then, Ukraine and Iran collaborated in the development of the plane. The first Iran 140 made its maiden flight in 2001. Iran Aircraft Manufacturing only ever built 14 complete airframes, although the aircraft was sold to the public as the country's symbol of the aviation industry. Only one airline ever operated the aircraft, Sepahan Airlines, although this carrier was owned by Hisa. In 2014, one of the six Sepahan Airlines Iran 140 was involved in a fatal crash with 40 casualties. Since then, the model has not flown again, and Hisa is heavily sanctioned as most Iranian state companies. The Iranian regime still produces fighter jets, like the Hisa Koser jets, although they are heavily based on vintage US airframes showcasing a largely antiquated industry. Iran Aircraft Manufacturing Industries Corporation 1-2 is an Iranian aircraft production company. 
Established in 1976, it belongs to the Iran Aviation Industries Organization IAIO, and is located at Shahin Shar, Isfahan. Approximately 2 million square meters or 500 acres of land on which the company is established was gifted by the locally notable and well-regarded Barauman family. The company has thousands of square meters of available grounds and 250,000 square meters of shops and hangars are allocated to AC part manufacturing, assembling, laboratories, flight test facilities and shops of preparation for production. HESA conducts research on, development of, production of, and flight operations for unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, in Iran. The IRGC utilizes the Ababaluev, manufactured by HESA. HESA produces different variants of the Ababaluev, which can be used for surveillance and attack. Ferrisect Industries is a subsidiary of HESA that specializes in the manufacturing of various aerospace tools and equipment. Iran Aircraft Manufacturing Industries claims the ability to manufacture structural parts, sandwich panels, and hydraulic piping. It also offers an overhaul service for hydraulic, pneumatic, dynamic, and engine components. After Iran's HESA announcement to produce its own jumbo aircraft based on Russian passenger aircraft, China moved one step closer to achieving its dream of manufacturing jumbo aircraft by establishing Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China in early 2007. The original factory, built by Textron, was to produce Bell 214s of different configurations in Iran with a deal that involved several hundred helicopters and technology transfers. Reportedly the contract was so huge that a new Textron division had to be founded to meet Iranian demands and handle the program with Major General Delk M. Odin as president. The work ended due to the Iranian revolution and subsequent sanctions against Iran.